Tanuki fur coat transformed into a throw. Here's the before and after. This is the front of the coat and the back of the coat. We have the original labels. And here we begin the deconstruction of the coat, removing the lining and the wool batting that surrounds the outside. The fur of this coat was in wonderful shape. It was soft and supple and so easy to work with. It was a pleasure to work on this particular coat. Here is the wool batting that surrounds the outside of the collar area. And some stays that are usually found in the shoulder area which helps support the actual shape of the shoulder of the coat. Here I'm removing a pocket area. Also removing the clasps that are on the side of the lapel. Those areas are going to have to be closed up and mended. removing the second pocket but you will see that there is a white piece of tape that's going uh, across the coat that's cold tape it's fabric with an adhesive on the back that will help support the stitches um, when you are sewing with a sewing machine uh, you have to be aware that cold tape is an adhesive and it will make the needle sticky which will cause the thread to break so you're going to have to sew very slowly if you're using a cold tape if you look closely you'll see a lot of cold tape on this jacket or coat Here I am marking for the length of the coat. I want the uh, sides to be even. The nature of a coat is that it's going to flare out to the sides, so you just can't lay it down and have a nice square or rectangular throw. You actually have to trim some pieces so it will uh, lie flat as well as being even so that that is a little bit of a struggle um, taking all these pieces and lining them up properly and removing certain areas that aren't going to be usable those other pieces will be used on the outside of the coat for the uh, outer border
Here is a perfect example of a flared piece. It looks like I'm taking off a piece of a triangle because it is not rectangular. Not every coat is the same. Some you don't have to do this. But here I am, I'm layering all the pieces that I've cut one on top of the other and I am going to put them side by side, measure them and notate the distance or the length of each piece and whichever pieces that are shortest, I'm going to uh, make them all the same length using the other pieces that are on the sides. So the sides have to be even. So the main part of the coat is complete. Now I am just working on the border. These pieces are approximately two and a half or maybe three and a half inches wide. And I'm going to connect all the pieces. Now the fur itself has a lot of different texture to it. Some, is, uh, or some are fluffier than others. Some are flatter or smoother. Um, I'm gonna combine them uh, to give it some interest. And here we are, the throw is complete. I absolutely love the combination of colors. I was able to use the original backing with the original labels. I added the black, which I think offsets the uh, original lining uh, very, very nicely. And there's the throw folded in half. It's just a beautiful fur. I just absolutely love the richness of the colors of this particular fur. Come visit us at dinosquilts.com.